Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. So today I want to talk about something that happened at my residence this morning. So where I live is relatively safe. Um, it's safer than I guess you would say the average city. Um, we're not a super large city. Uh, the population is over um, 150,000. We are directly um, connected, meaning the surrounding cities next to us um, have large populations. So there is a decent amount of people, but it's not like um, located in, say, downtown LA or um, New York or somewhere where there's just a very dense population. So essentially what happened this morning was a black guy came to the house and he rang the doorbell. Uh, I do have cameras. Uh, the doorbell that I have is also a one with a camera. So I was in the middle of some stuff. So I didn't want to go to the door. So I simply answered through um, the camera and asked how I could help him. He stated he was uh, in the area and I do have some stuff dug up in the front yard that I'm working on. So he said that he had noticed that and that he wanted to give me some quotes for work and stuff like that. He stated all the quotes were free and I simply replied with um, thank you but no thank you. And I left it at that. But I did continue to monitor to see if he was going to leave or exactly what he was going to do. And he did not leave. So he waited a little bit and then he went ahead and rung the bell again. So right there with that second ring, what that tells me or the way I interpret that is that I would consider him a spotter or somebody looking to um, get more, I guess you would say, intelligence on the place that they're at. And what a spotter is, is a spotter is somebody that essentially goes around and gathers information, intelligence, um, to either come back and return at a later time if they think it's a place that they can get into or a situation they can overpower. So. What I then knew I needed to do was um, answer the door. But before I get to that, what was strange about it is that my neighborhood is located on a busy street across the street from a school. So incidences like this in my direct neighborhood are very rare. Um, I can't recall the last time something like this has happened. Um, the location I'm at, I grew up in this neighborhood and I've lived here for quite some time. So we're talking about, you know, over 20 plus years of hands-on experience with uh, the city I live in, with the neighborhood that I live in. So I'm very aware of things and when things are off or when, strange things happen in this neighborhood that typically don't and that right there with what happened it really shows and plays a part into the mindset of criminals nowadays with the way the laws are the way the politicians protect them the way the governors the government you know it's everything's a slap on the wrist for them they are spreading out into areas they typically wouldn't go to. They are being more, um, what's the term? I can't think of the term, I guess brave. They're being more brave. They're doing things more out in front of busy areas um, because they have no fear. They, if they get in trouble, they get a slap on the wrist, they'll be back on the street and they can continue doing what they're doing. And that even happens with severe crimes nowadays. You don't, the politicians, the laws, the government, it's all made for the criminals just to get away with what they're doing. So things are spreading. 
and in my city over the course especially over the course of the past you know four years stuff has really spiked up crime wise it's still relatively a very safe city to live in uh, you can still feel very comfortable walking around at all hours um, that doesn't mean that you should never relax on being aware of your surroundings being around being aware of who's around you and stuff like that no matter how safe of a place you are that's just for me that's common practice just to ensure that you are always aware and prepared if something were to happen but again overall uh, crime in this area has been going up uh, things have been happening more uh, in the open more in areas that typically wouldn't happen so back to what happened this morning so my door I have a door followed by a storm door and what that is is essentially there's two doors um, that lead into my house so even though we or even though if the front door is open there's still another door that is closed and locked between um, yourself and the outside but again because I knew I needed to go um, answer the door at this point because I felt that he was a spotter I felt he was trying to get information seeing if somebody was really home um, I went ahead and I did grab my firearm I stuck my firearm in my waistband but left it visibly um, I left it visible so that when I did answer that it would be able to be seen and I did that for the purpose of the fact that I wanted this individual to know that uh, this residence was protected because even if you answer the door um, and you're answering just with yourself that's not necessarily a deterrent um, it's not a deterrent to where somebody's going to go, oh, somebody's home, um, you know, we have to go somewhere else. Um, they're going to assess you. They're going to assess your body language. They're going to see, is this somebody we can overpower? Um, is this something that we can come back later on? And even though we know somebody's home, um, we can go ahead and still, you know, we'll risk it. We'll take the chance. We'll go in and see what happens. On top of that, I also have dogs. So I was still surprised that even with the dogs that barked, um, the individual continued to press on to see if somebody was theoretically home. So just because you have dogs, that's not a 100% guarantee that you're going to uh, prevent somebody from trying to get in. So anyways... So I went ahead and I answered the door. And as soon as I answered the door, I let the gentleman know, no, thank you, I'm not interested. And before I could finish, um, I saw him, I saw his eyes and I could see that his eyes located the visible uh, weapon on my waistband. And he said, okay, thank you. And he walked away. So it was pretty quick. He, he recognized that I was armed and he went ahead and left. But, for me, that's something that is a bit concerning in the aspect of how things are truly happening. Now, this stuff in other cities happens all the time, um, but again, it's all based off of where you live. Uh, if you live in somewhere that relatively has been safe and you see things spiking, they're much more noticeable because it's not something typically that happens. But that's why it is so important to be armed so important to have something to protect yourself to protect your family because if you don't just you yourself is not going to necessarily be a deterrent to somebody who wants to maybe try and come in to come back later on and try and get in to do harm to you to take stuff that you have worked extremely hard um, to acquire but having that um, multiplier does make a difference now that doesn't mean that you know the person would 100 percent never want to come back and try something again uh, but 
it definitely uh, resonates with them in the fact that this is not an easy target. That they are going to truly have to be willing to sacrifice their life for whatever it is um, their goal may be. And sometimes, you, especially when you are in your house, um, I'm pretty sure the laws are across the board are um, almost the same, I believe. I'm not a lawyer, so don't take, you know, take that with a grain of salt. But uh, you should theoretically be able to be armed in your residence, to open carry in your residence, um, and to do all that. And again, I have those two doors, so I did not step outside of my residence. And I was completely inside my residence. So me personally, I felt that I was 100% within my right to do so. But the reality of it is, is even if I couldn't, I wouldn't change what I did. I would still do what I did to ensure I got a message across to somebody letting them know that this is not a place to attempt to do anything wrong at. Now, again, crime, things happening are getting worse every single day. Train, be prepared, be aware. Um, if you don't have a double door, I would probably say, um, unless you truly feel you can um, handle yourself and handle a situation. Uh, don't answer that door. Uh, the nice thing about having two doors is the fact that I can still answer one and still be behind another door so it doesn't uh, create an immediate pathway for them to get to me. It still creates and they still have an obstacle in front of themselves um, that they would have to get through. But people like this are out there every single day um, they're always looking for opportunities and advantages and they will always come up whether they're dressed as somebody from a utility department selling something construction whatever it is um, but if somebody cannot simply recognize that you've stated to them to you're not interested thank you and they continue to press on with trying to see if somebody is physically home you can pretty much guarantee that that is a spotter, that is somebody looking to see if this is a place that they can hit, if this is a place that they can get into, whether right then and now or at a later time. So always be aware um, if you have cameras, you, as I do, you know, take snapshots of the, of the picture of the individual, keep them on hand, put them in a um, neighborhood app so that other people are aware just as I'm going to do in reference to this situation, just to allow my other neighbors to be aware of this gentleman uh, who is going around and saying this. But you as a salesperson, if you are truly out there doing something for good purposes, if somebody does not want to answer the door because they don't feel safe, as with in today's times, a lot of people do not respect that. Um, if they say no through a camera, respect that. They're obviously not interested. Um, but don't keep pressing because if you keep pressing, you're definitely going to put yourself in a category associated with uh, bad individuals or somebody who wants to do something um, wrong, I should say. So I just wanted to make that quick little video on that incident that happened um, this morning. Uh, thank you everybody for stopping by and checking out the video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. If you guys have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them. You guys have a good day.